two. Fuck countdowns, because it's podcast time. All right. I was going to do a countdown, but fuck it. I don't want to do a countdown. I don't need to do a countdown. It's my goddamn show. I'm too pissed. I don't, I don't even, I'm not even pissed about anything. I don't know. I was one girl. So, anyway, uh, we have podcast time. Actually, funny thing is, before I begin, this is the first podcast I'm recording where I have not uploaded the last one because I have been busy and I had time to myself and I was like, fuck it. I don't want to edit anything. I just want to relax. So it's not up. Oh. The last one's not up yet. So it'll go up today as of recording this today. Um, by the time this one's up, it'll, it'll be up. So. That's just a little tidbit I wanted to say. I don't know. It's unimportant, but fuck you. <laughs> anyway, we have Noah here, my friend. Hi. Yeah, he, he he's he's a dork, but he's cool, I guess. I'm the most lovable, hateable person you'll ever meet. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> That's a wonderful introduction. <laughs> Anyway, wonderful. anyway, we have three questions as always. We have a discussion and we have this week's anime battle, which is Meliodas, season one specifically, versus Guts from that. Berserk. Because which if anyone has seen season two, season two Meliodas could tear Guts apart like a tomato can. Oh, yeah, I guess he could. So why is it a battle? Something because it's only it. season one, where he doesn't have his sacred treasure, he doesn't have his unlocked potential, he doesn't have any of that. So it's even playing fields. <laughs> it's an actual battle. If you say so. I think so. I think it's a good one. Because Guts is... No, no, oh, no, we're not talking about... No, 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 no. no, 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 no. We're going to save it for the end. Save it for the end. But we're going to go to... Question uh, one. Yes, the, question the, one. The, Thank the, you, Nick. No, Shut the fuck up. Question number one. <laughs> your first question is, uh, what is your favorite moment in anime? It can be one moment. It can be several moments. I have a specific moment. because I've wanted to do a list of this for a while. And I have something I can talk about that I'm going to get a little personal about. But uh, I, w- I don't want to go first because I don't feel like it. Because I'm lazy. Do you make the new guy go first? Yes. Or whoever the fuck wants to go first. I don't oh, care. Oh, screw you. You know me. I don't, I don't care who wants to go first. Uh, I don't oh. really have an answer. So God damn it! Answer, why so. can't you ever answer these things? <laughs> I want paper scissors for you. I don't have a favorite moment, okay? Just okay, say I, favorite I, moments. Rock, paper, scissors, purple. Ready, go. Rock, paper, scissors, blue. Aha. Uh-huh. There's blue and purple. <laughs> I win. Aw. Oh, okay, go first then. Oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> right, fine, I'll go first. Um, my favorite moment in anime, I was debating between two, but I'm going to go with, uh, in Dragon Ball Super, during the Tournament of Power arc, there's a moment where, uh, Roshi fights this bird guy, I don't remember his name, and, um, he's, like, dying, in a sense, and, you know, death doesn't mean anything in Dragon Ball, (laughs) but the way, but the way it was staged... And the way that Goku, for once in his life, is like freaking out that he might actually die, it was a really good moment. Has Roshi died yet, or is that not happened? Not yet. Mm. Oh, you know, I think he probably died when the Earth was destroyed by uh, Majin Buu. And oh, you mean in general? Yeah, he's died a few times. Okay. I'm surprised you chose Link from like, Super. But he came back to the power of the He dragon. died, but then he got better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's Dragon Ball. That's yeah, Dragon. It's the entirety of Dragon Ball in a nutshell. Oh, he died, but yeah, he got better. <laughs> that's my favorite joke. Isn't he dead? Yeah, but he got better. Yeah, essentially. It's really good. Like if he dies, like one more time, he's gonna get a free sandwich or something. Pretty much oh, it's free ice cream. Yeah, well, yeah right. <laughs> one one more, and I get a free Sunday. That was it. That was a Team Four Star joke. That was brilliant. Yeah, they died a lot, but then they get better. I guess I guess I'll go next. I have like a, a legit one that's actually kind of like personal. Obviously, mine's from Gurren Lagann because, whatever. But um, uh, it, it's it's episode eleven. Um, when like Simon is finally like realizing that he should get his shit straight after a communist died, and um, uh, ba- basically, like he he meets with Nia, and Nia's like. Doesn't say it specifically, but she's always trying to push him forward, and he finally sees like you know the the sun through the clouds. And um, when they're fighting Guam, uh, they finally combine again and go into Gurren Lagann. 
and uh, he like steps out of the cockpit, and it's it's his speech uh, when he says like he he's his own person, and he'll listen to the words that his brother told him and could use those to move forward, uh, and continue to carve his own path. And I first saw it when I was in late high school, and it was the perfect moment to see it because it's basically like looking at you and being like, hey. Don't let others push you down. You gotta be yourself, and you gotta kick ass. And it's just whenever I see it, I, like whenever whenever I watch the anime again and I see it, I always end up like cho either choking up or cheering. And it's just it's just something that means a lot personally because like I really like I really connect with Simon as a character, and it feels like he's overcoming a lot. Overcoming that's not a fucking word. Overcoming a lot, and it inspires me to try and overcome the bullshit that I experience in my life, so. And it's just a really fucking kick-ass moment, too. So. And it's also on YouTube, if you want to check it out. Uh, I believe you search it, and it says you search Gurren Lagann and see when he becomes a man. And, yeah. I'm cool. sure most of these moments you can look up on YouTube. Probably. YouTube has everything. Piracy! Actually, that goes into one thing we're going to talk about in a bit, but not yet. Huh, Jesus, how the hell are we supposed to go, 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 pirates? follow up that? What? How the hell are we supposed hey, to follow up that? Right. Oh, with me going like, I don't know, just say your shit and then get the fuck out. Get your <laughs> shit and get <laughs> out. And the sexiest man award goes to... I still pilot Not anime. me. <laughs> that was your segue, Nick. All right. Oh, wait, you don't have your beard. Uh, fuck you. Wait, I did you have a beard. I've always had a beard. Oh, okay. then go. Yeah. Um, I would say my favorite moment in recent memory would be in uh, Seven Daily Sins Season 2. The, the uh, Specifically, Meliodas versus Droll, and I forgot the Fairy King's name, the previous Fairy King. Uh, I think it was started with an I, was it? I, don't I can't remember. I, 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 know, I know what he sounded like. I know his personality. I can't remember his fucking name. I, know I remember a whole bunch. Like, I remember. I, I remember Mel Skilla, I remember Gallons. I remember uh, Esterosa. I remember a whole bunch of their names, but I can't remember <clears> that <throat> one. Damn it. Uh, probably because he wasn't showing as much. Eh, he, he had some decent screen time. Eh, yeah. Anyway, uh, honestly, it's kind of like that whole fight scene is really cool. Just how it opens up is just uh, Escanor. Just knocking them out, and then well, it just comes in like, like oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm drills I'm your ass. Yeah, and it's like one and of the first times we've seen him get like legit like mad and like go all out. And then I'm actually I'm not gonna spoil it, but that that leads up to my favorite moment from one of my favorite moments from season two. Yeah, I just love I just love that part where like <sighs> Jill's being all cocky, and then he just cuts off both his arms in one slice, and it's just like, well, oh yeah, that's fun. right. Zero to hundred incredibly quick. <laughs> <laughs> and the whole fight is just yeah. him like knocking each uh both of them down one. So that way that that way the other can't fight, knock the other one down, that way to focus the other one, the other one gets up, knock him down again as the other one gets up. And yeah, that is cool. why we're not gonna have guts fight Meliodas from season two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I just that scene was so cool. It's like it's like, huh, surprisingly clever. Yeah. Get you. I got it. I got you. I got you. I see what you're doing. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Uh, and now, Matt, do you have several uh, answers or n still nothing? Uh, does a um, make, uh, make, um, eh, 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 does a banana make count it? as an instrument? No. Mayonnaise doesn't count <laughs> either. All right. Um, one. Um... I guess even though I kind of like hate this, it's it's I guess like a kind of like a moment or something, what? which I guess is like like uh, from that scene from Bleach where like um like um uh, 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 like um like um like um I think no no my no shoot no 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 I don't think he's taking them all again he's a good search it's going back he's denying. It. I can't name a good one. All right, fine. We'll skip it. Fuck it. All, right, all right, a, m a moment in Bleach that's awesome. The first time he has the hollow mask, and he's just totally owning that one guy. I was gonna say yeah, when the first time guy. he. I was yeah. gonna say the first okay, time I'll he fucking yeah. uh, uses his uh, bankai. Yes, that 
about the way he gets to Heartland, but he's awesome. Byakuya, I think was his name. The yes, brother. That's okay, his that's his name. All right. I don't know why I remember that. That fight in general is probably my favorite in the series. That's, I think that's the highlight. Yeah. Next, next to uh, next to uh, Ichigo versus uh, Ainz, I believe, or whatever the main villain is. Fuck, I can't remember his name. Uh, I don't know. I when he went. Whatever, it doesn't uh, matter. It's not important. Who gives a shit? We're gonna go oh, on to question. Uh, I, I just want to. I just want to add this as well. Well, well, but uh, like, sure. Thing about Bass Lord's face is the the uh, that other guy with the black hair. I can't remember his name. It's very descriptive. Thank you for describing every other anime character in history. I appreciate it. Obviously, he's talking about Yukiko Amagi. <laughs> Ukiyota. You're probably talking about Ukiyota. That guy. Yeah. Ukiyota. I was... the, the, the fight between Ichigo and him? That's a highlight, too. That's a good one. Yeah. Anyway, Nick, what uh, do you want to say? Uh, fairy, the Demon Fairy King, Gloxinia. That was, that was it. It was not an eye. I don't oh. know why I thought it was an eye. Yes. Gloxinia. That was it. All right. Anyway, we're going to question number two, which is actually a pretty interesting one. Uh, it's one that I thought of recently. Um, do you think streaming services having so many exclusive anime is a bad thing? And the reason I say this is because, like, <clears throat> one of the one of the upsides to uh, using streaming services, uh, whether for it's Netflix or anything like that, is the fact that like, with you don't have to do what cable does, like buy all these packages to get all the uh, shows you want to do. But now it's kind of this like like Funimation has certain shows, Crunchyroll has certain shows, Hulu has certain shows, Netflix has certain shows. And even though to get all of them simultaneously will be cheaper than cable, it's essentially doing some of the similar things, and some people say it's, like, promoting piracy. Because, like, I have Funimation, and there are certain shows that I can't see, because I don't have the other stuff. So, do you, do you, do you think it's bad? Uh, mm. I guess. Uh, yes. Sh- sure, yes. I guess it's good. And, well, uh, uh, and then do we have it? Because, like, because but, but the thing is, like, do you want there to be just one streaming service? Because, like, with several, it has, like, you know, there's, like, a competition and such for low prices. So, oh, where is be a competition? Tricky, tricky type like, yeah, eh, 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 eh. There, there just should be, like, um, like, one that had just, like, um, like, has, like, um, like, um, all the anime, eh, 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 and, like, uh, you need. We'll call it weeboo.com. It need, like, um, on like one site, like both does. Because like, because like, has like, uh, like all the anime. Because recently, uh, the deal with Funimation and Crunchyroll ended. Um, yeah. And they're not gonna renew it. And there's a whole bunch of anime on both sites that are going down. Uh, because they don't own the rights to them. Kind of like how like um. Like with something like Sins, Netflix owns the exclusive streaming rights to it. No other website can stream it. Even if they dubbed it. Funimation fucking dubbed it and they can't put it on their own website. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm serious. I think they're, they're the company that went and dubbed it and Netflix owns it. I so, did not know that. Yeah. Crazy shit. So, like, a lot of people are saying, like, oh, well, I, I don't want to spend this money to get a whole limited stuff. I'm just going to pirate stuff. But we did we did a thing about that. We're not you can't be a one piece pirate. Otherwise you'll be looking for one piece forever and it's only eight hundred episodes later, you're still not there. Nine hundred. Uh yeah. fucking god damn it. Nine hundred. I don't care. That's a lot of episodes and you're still not there yet. You'd be like you'd be like my friend who only just started Berserk. Just now. Hey, hey, if you like that sort of thing, you're gonna be entertained for a good long while. Oh boy. Oh boy. But yeah, yeah. I, I just because like I thought of it because I would I'm, never watch One Piece. So long. No. I would we, watch it just so I had something to do every day. Eh, we talked about this before. But like, yeah. it's just, uh, I don't know. I don't. I I I get why companies have exclusives because you know like, it's like basically like the the console wars and shit like that with like exclusive. Yeah, that's PS4 why I don't have a problem with it honestly. But like, yeah, that was actually what I was going to bring up is that um, exclu- it's the same thing with the exclusives to certain consoles. It's just it's it's bad for the overall um, maybe not marketplace but community and people and if 
people want to play like only want like one game. They're not going to spend a whole console for it, and they're most likely going to pirate it, like you said earlier. <clears throat> so the way I see it, it, it enters uh, the market. The way I but, see it is, it's bad. The streaming service thing having exclusive anime is a bad thing for us, the consumers. But in a business perspective, it would make more sense to have exclusive anime for your service, so people would watch, would pay for your service to watch it. I know, because like, um, well, there there are certain there are certain uh, anime that are on multiple streaming services, like, uh, um, what was it? My Hero Academia is on Crunchyroll and Funimation, dubbed, uh, dub sub, you know, like, um. And then there was Verb for a while, who had it, who had rights to stuff Funimation has, Crunchyroll had. Now they don't, but uh, Verb is like a com- compilation of a whole bunch of stuff. So there are, there is shows that are on multiple streaming services, but there's still a whole lot of exclusives. And like, like I said, if you want, if you get every single streaming service there is, it's probably like forty dollars, fifty dollars a month, which is a regular cable package. So. In the end, it's honestly not too huge of a deal, but it is a bit of a hassle. And it does promote piracy because people are lazy and they like free stuff. Yes. To be fair, people would be pirates anyway. People, people would be pirates anyway, even if there was a streaming service, because fucking bitches. Uh, yeah. Bunch of pussies. I mean, what? Hey, some of us can't afford it. I know, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be a dick. Some of us Thank have you. to pay rent. <laughs> yeah. And now you guys are putting too much shit, so I can't see the questions. Um, but yeah, <laughs> what, do you, what are you fuckers saying now? Farts are just boneless poop. What the fuck? Mouse, what are you saying? That's just stupid. You're stupid. Stop being you're stupid. Cool. Well, maybe oh, I'm being like rhetorical. Being no, rhetorical. no, you're just saying words you hear randomly to make yourself sound smarter. Hmm. I don't, now you're I'm just being transcendent. <laughs> I, like, I like all the stuff that's at the bottom. Like, God damn it. But yeah, no. <laughs> Stupid. It's just capitalism, guys. Isn't it fun? No. Yeah. <laughs> well, like, I don't know. I feel like it's it's a varying circumstance there. Well, where... I mean, for if we compared it to consoles, but like like I said, to do for for console exclusives, it's more it's more because video games and the consoles themselves cost more than both your internet bill, your electric bill, and the streaming bill. So. But even then, uh, I remember hearing a thing that consoles don't actually make money. Like, oh, because Steam exists. The, well, no, it's just like uh, I think it's just the money to like mass produce it and to build it and stuff like that price that the where the money comes in for the companies is actually in the games that makes sense it's, like it's kind of like how service. um it's kind of like how bands don't make money through uh their songs they actually they, that usually goes towards the studio uh but they make money through concerts uh yeah through concerts and merchandise yeah but <clears throat> I, I say like it's yeah. I feel like st- uh, streaming it is in like this is in this weird nebulous between um, video games and the video game situation and the music situation, where it it's since there's so many exclusives like with video games, it just it just creates this kind of I like like I don't like that or I think that's bad because because I can't have it kind of thing. And the people who want it can easily pirate it. Same, uh, and there's a similar situation with music. I feel like it's in that weird nebulous state where if it was m- more of an open market, I think there would be a lot more, I think it would be an easier cash flow. Well, we say that, but it'll never happen, unfortunately. It'll happen when we're dead. I don't know. I miss video games. Bitch, you have money. You could still buy games. I know. And why don't you? Because my switch is all on the other side of the room. I can't God damn reach it. it. Lazy fuck. And with that, we're gonna go on to question number three, um, which doesn't have anything to relate to what you're just saying, but it's cool. Because what's an anime you know isn't good but you enjoy anyway? Uh, well, uh, it's what they call a guilty pleasure. 
Yes, oh. Oh, does does Matt have an? Are we being graced by the gods? Does Matt have an answer this time? Yes. Lord, have mercy Get on us, please. Nick is going to say something uh, instead. The light of God rains down upon Yo, us. If you believe in that shit. Answer. That <laughs> God's a uh, dick. So mine is uh, bleach. Okay, like, that's fair. Uh, uh, like, um, at the bleach same time. Anime. Uh, uh, Shut up, you're wrong. I don't the like... first 50 episodes uh, are good. No, the first... Until until the too. battle with uh, I, main villain I, guy, the, the show was good. I would actually disagree that after Rookie gets saved, it's not till main battle guy that it gets good again. Sorry, we're over we're overstepping Matt. <laughs> he's like he's like over there talking passionately. An we're just we arguing like little fucks right here. All right, continue continue your. You got the name got the mate. Okay, we'll continue. Okay. okay. Stop about that Naruto. God damn it! But at the same time, I don't. And and it's just like so. Yeah. Plus, I got me. I know. I know. I know. Like, I'm like most of the characters in in the social life. It's the Ichigo show. Wait, the main guy. He like Ichigo since eh. Ich Ichigo senpai. Well, that. It, Doesn't he mean I flower? He does. Like I, I forgot this one guy's name, but I think he, and he, and he has like black spiky hair, like really. Kenpachi. Yes, that guy. The one who's Kenpachi crazy. Kenpachi fried chicken. Yeah, the one who's fuck. He's actually like one of my favorite characters in that. Because even though I admit that like a lot of characters get overshadowed, there are some good ones, and he's a good one. He's cool. The one with the pink hair. Oh, the little one who hangs on his shoulder. She's cool too. She's funny. <laughs> yeah, there's good characters. There's good ones. Yeah, it's pretty much like my favorite character. Oh, 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 and like um, in that show. Okay. Oh, Kenpachi. That was his name. Yeah, yeah I said Kenpachi. Kenpachi fried chicken. <laughs> I actually do. I actually did not. I, I had an answer for this, and then I realized. Wait, I actually, think the anime is kind of good, so I need to think of another answer now. So when do you guys go? I, I'm I, being. I I'm pulling a mat. It's been 18 episodes. I'm allowed to do this. This, this might seem what? like a team up with answers. I sent okay. you the questions days in advance, so you can fucking think of them. He does do that. I, I'm seeing these that. for the first time. And I'm I know because like, I forgot to send them to you because you just just last night you'd be like, "Hey, can I join your podcast?" I'm like, "Okay," but, and then I forgot to. <laughs> but Matt's been here since like episode one. No, two. Oh, Matt's been oh. here. I thought you were saying <laughs> they're saying you. I'm like, you've been here since two. No, I was here since two. All right, I got one. This might seem like a troll answer, but it's actually true. <laughs> My favorite bad anime that I know it's bad, but I enjoy it anyway is Sonic X. I swear to God, I will go to your house and I will <laughs> actually murder you in your sleep. Why? Why do you like that? It, it is technically an anime. It is, it is technically. A, 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 I'm the one. Fuck. I'm the one who advocates that Avatar is an anime, so I can't disagree with this. Damn it. Avatar is not an anime. Yes, it is, uh, motherfucker. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. You're stupid. You're stop no, being stupid. You're wrong. Avatar <laughs> is not an anime. It's it's an American anime. It is. It is. It is. All right, just fucking say what your bullshit with Sonic bullshit. Okay. Uh, oh, who you I'm doing? Who oh, you I'm doing, a... man? Yeah, come on, come on, come on. I can just right. fucking go. Plus Ultra. God damn it. <laughs> plus Ultra. <laughs> Sonic speed plus Ultra. Okay, up. but uh. I'm a Sonic fan. Next. No, I'm kidding. Is that it? Okay. Uh, that's no. Um, I know it's bad. Because, you know, we got the fucking Chris Kid. He got... Yes. <laughs> the Matter X shit in the season three. But I know there's a lot of shit. The season three? But... Really? Yes. Um, sad face when there's more seasons of Sonic X than there are of No Game No Life. <laughs> I can, actually, that's not even good. Okay, that's but, pretty uh, sad. Fuck you. <laughs> but no, I, I, I get it. 
I get it's a bad anime, but there are a lot of things I do like about it. Like, bad anime is an understatement, my because, friend. Like, I'm going to talk about the dub version because I've watched the dub more than the sub. But uh, it's the first time we got the four kids voice actors, like Mike Pollock, who is a man we don't deserve, is the voice of the great Dr. Eggman. Beautiful. Who is probably the only good dub voice actor in the Sonic series. Fuck. But you know, I enjoyed. Uh, I enjoyed uh, not so much the first season when they're in the city, but whenever they, uh, whenever they uh, made anime versions of the games like Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure Two, and you know, I'll defend some Matter X episodes. Like I know this is a bad anime, but I can't help but like it because. It was the show when I was a kid that I would always get up and my sister would watch it. All right, well, I have an answer now. I know it's bad, but I still enjoy it. Whatever. Um, Whatever with your bullshit. I don't give a shit. But anyway. uh, It's okay. You think Avatar's an anime, so you're wrong from the start. You want me to come over there and kill you? Because I can. Mine is Karen, uh, also known as Chibi Vampire. Um, Also known as what? Also known as Chibi Vampire. Um, oh, ba- basically, it, it's the romance. Um, and it's about... Uh, there's a Karen... <laughs> there's a Karen, yes. There's a girl named Karen, uh, and she's a vampire with a, with a strange vampire family. Um, but uh, the thing is, you know how like vampires are supposed to suck blood and such? Well, there she has a rare condition where basically she has anime syndrome. Blood will excessively spew out of her nose during random lo- random intervals. What? Yeah. Uh, sh- it's it's the the thing is called polycythemia. I don't know some weird. Ba- basically, like sh- she'll just like spew blood, and she ends up uh falling in love with uh, a new classmate. There's a running joke about his eyes. Like everyone else has regular anime eyes, and he has like the he has more American cartoon eyes with like the white pupils, and then just a dot on both sides. Like why does he always look so weird? But like the thing is, it's it's kind of stupid, but I like it, and I like the characters. Oh, yeah. But I it's it's stupid. It's pretty stupid. I got to admit. Yeah, no, it's no, it's no really good, but. Is is fun. I liked it. I haven't seen it in forever, so it might not be as good as I remember it being, and that's why I'm probably considering it because there's a lot of anime that I haven't seen in a while that I need to watch again that I probably don't like as much. Like I used to think Angel Meets was perfect, and now I think it's good. Um, and but it's just I'm going through the page, and there's like a lot of just fun characters. Like oh, I remember that one. So is is not good, but is fun. I like it. And the dub is terrible, but. Who cares? What what anime's dub isn't terrible these days? There's a lot of really really good. Rhetorical dubs. question. Thing. Move on. I will I will eat your children. Oh thank God! Please do. I I, I can't deal with them when they reach thirteen. Nick, <laughs> go. And this awkwardness. Question three. <laughs> no, we're on question three, you dipshit. <laughs> You have to answer questions, or you fucking piece of shit. You can't just pull that crap like, we'll start again. No, you're going now. <laughs> Go on, motherfucker. Uh, uh, it's your um, shift. You gotta do it. You can't make me come into work and do this bullshit. I'm not cleaning up that vomit. You're cleaning up that vomit. You're cleaning up that vomit. Um, uh, um, Monster Mizume, and part of me still doesn't know why. Okay. Oh, yeah, you're talking about this. It's like it's like a weird. It's like this. It's like this one. It's like that one time you do shrooms. And you're like, should I do it again? I don't know. <laughs> was it good? I don't know. Was it good? But yeah. For you? I'll say... Sorry. There were parts. Mm. There were parts. Uh, well, it's, it's it stars this snake girl. So, uh, delicious. Who I don't think many people consider best girl. Now that I think about it. You, we're not gonna get in. We're not gonna get in that because you know there's gonna be comments, and I don't want to deal with that. Oh, I, I don't want to deal with people know, talking about the spider waifu and the horse go. waifu. It's like, God damn it! Why can't you like people? I, if you want to fuck a horse, go outside and get arrested for it. 
Actually, you know what? I want to know. Post comments. Is Snake Girl best waifu? I think it was Mia. Girl. Wait, wait, Snake Girl. Are you talking about that monster? Yeah, yeah monster man. man. The one where they're all like a whole sh- like there's like a spider. Oh, yeah. and a I used to like that girl. anime. No, I used, no. I used to like that. Shut up, Matt. I really <laughs> watch that. Never. Shut up, Matt. Um, Mermaid Girl is best waifu. I've actually heard quite a few from Mermaid Girl. Yeah. I've heard a lot from Horse Girl. Really? Because of the titties. I can see. Oh, okay. I thought it was someone else. God damn it, Ronald. What are you doing here? Stop <laughs> posting stupid pictures. <laughs> I can't see the anyway, questions. Best food. <laughs> if anyone isn't, I'm probably going to post it. Uh, if I forget, there's a picture of Ronald McDonald fighting. Fucking... Just, just have it like, just have it like a credit sequence, and it's just these images. Yeah, I don't want to. I'm just lazy. I'm, I'm, I'm lazy, so I don't want to do that. Where to go? Stop it! <laughs> Let me post the fucking questions. You fucks. All right, Monster Musume, Bleach. What did you say, Noah? All right. So uh, I, 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 I removed it from my memory because it was so awful. <laughs> Hey, you, you, you brought this on yourself, lad. I know, I did. But we're going to talk about anime in the West. We're going to want our discussion. Because I want because this actually goes into what we're going to talk about in episode 20, which it, which is like a themed episode, which is the Toonami episode. So we're going to save some of that. Um, but do, do you guys remember when anime was like that weird thing that people didn't talk about? And now it's like everywhere? <laughs> oh yeah, that like I, in middle no, school, no, really. I, I, I was like kind of asleep on it. Uh, in middle school, I was um, I, I read manga and such. Well, I had some manga, and like some people thought it was kind of cool, and the others were like, "What the hell are you doing? That's weird. Don't read that stupid weird stuff. You're weird. Read books." And now it's that like you get, now 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 it's now if you go to any school, you'll see like everyone has seen at least one anime. And it's just kind of strange how much that is ballooned out, and I like it. It's cool. Be good. I don't know, like stuff like stuff that was huge in the '90s, like Dragon Ball, and uh, it's still stuff. huge. And, the, and like the tsunami esque ones. I don't know. I, I, they kind of blended together as cartoons when I was young, and then when I finally figured out what anime was, it was fucking everywhere. And I was like, "Where did you all come from?" <laughs> We were down in the sewers all this time, and here we are now, finally ready to spin forth and take over the world. Yeah, just, Not yet, but we'll soon. We'll do it soon. Uh, I know. Eventually. It's just like. Yeah, but like, uh, but it's like fuck. Maybe eight, ten years ago, you wouldn't see half the stuff in stories you'd see now. Yeah. Because now all these companies are like we can make profit off of this weird Japanese stuff. Fuck yeah. <laughs> So yeah, now everyone's jumping on board. And now there's yeah. anime movies in, in oh, here, for better, yeah. for worse. Usually worse! Nine times out of ten worse. God damn it. <laughs> I, got I still it. don't forgive America the, for the Dragon Ball stuff. The best western anime is The Lion King. Oh, the one that got, the one that was inspired by another anime? Yep. Yeah, I don't think Disney got over that lawsuit, did they? Did they win that lawsuit? I forgot. I'm pretty sure they did. Well, they are Disney, so... Kimbo, the White Lion, that was it. If anyone doesn't know the story, there was was an anime movie that came out years before The Lion King called Kimbo, the White Lion, and had a very similar plot. Very similar. So, yeah... Disney, what you doing? Disney was a wee bit before all of us! What are you doing? Like, seriously. I knew it! Disney has always yeah, been the biggest wee bit! Because I thought they fought out. Uh, 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 and then they bought Star Wars. Disney owns everything. And they'll never yeah, they use bought them. out, like, um. And then they bought Fox. They own Fox, they own Marvel, and they own and they own Lucas Films. Yeah, so it's just like what Capitalism. The You're getting that much closer to Monopoly. Not the board game, you fucks. Not the board game. So what are they gonna buy out like oh um, my like, um, Next we gotta not pay our taxes. Anyway, um 
And then while he's spending him to buy out, like, an anime or something. But I, I, because, like, the thing is, when Toonami came out in, like, the 90s and such like that, it was, like, such a crazy thing that, like, attracted people, but it wasn't getting enough credit, so, you know, they, they oh took God. it off the air. But now anime is so popular, Toonami came back. And was like, yeah, we're back, motherfuckers. And we got more cool shit. And literally, they made the JoJo dub popular. Like, before it was, like, this weird thing that wasn't that too into. And now it's like every JoJo is being dubbed. And, like, holy shit. It's crazy. Wait, so there are multiple dubs of JoJo? Well, I mean, no, no, no. It's just the fact that, like, um, uh, when JoJo's Bizarre, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, the original one, came out in, like, 2012-ish. And the dub, there was, and and uh, only just recently, uh, like last year, did season three get dubbed. Like season, and that, and and um, Stardust Crusaders has been out for at least like two years. It's been out for quite a bit. Like originally, there was like three episodes dubbed, and that was it. It was done. Oh. But wow. then, then when it got in tsunami and like popularity resurged back. People are like, oh shit, we can make money off this. Let's do it! And that's the story of how your mother and I met. That's how uh, I met your mother. <laughs> Cue music! I don't know the I don't I don't know the theme for how I met your mother. I don't watch it that much. Shut up. I don't watch it at all. I just know it for the memes. Okay. I know I, what is what's I know one of the actors, but I can't remember his fucking name. The gay one. Who never the ending the game was sacrilege. What? Just, the ending was sacrilege. I haven't seen it. Well, did they just know that it was if the reason one of the big reasons why it was mean to hell because the ending was just so god awful. Okay. I'll trust your judgment. It it is bad, but it I won't is, agree with it. It is really bad. But it's just it's just kind of crazy to think of to think that anime like in just 20 years it's become this like not not even 20 years like like 10 years it's it's gone from being this underground thing that all these little nerds talked about and then now it's like everyone at least knows what even my dad knows what the word anime is that's saying a lot yeah it's true for not fucking work a computer that well <laughs> let's be honest isn't every anime Every cartoon and anime, anime. Well, I mean, the, the word anime means animation. Is animation. And we, we yeah. usually determine and anime as like the style we see in bitch. We usually determine the style. We How we define anime is like like either, you know, Japanese like t- TV animated shows that are like Naruto and shit. Or stuff that's inspired by it. In my case, that's what I think of. That's why I think Megatex and Lara and Naruto. Nar- Naruto is obviously an anime. <laughs> But Avatar and stuff. Yeah. And we talked about this. I have voice break. Don't mind me. Just reverting back to 17. <laughs> we talked about this. So shut the fuck up. I'm just kidding. Is it the same? Oh. Hi, Metro Motor Team. All right. Well, that's... Uh, the joke ended, so it doesn't matter. Later. You can save that for later. Whatever. Um, But it's just, like... I had friends who made fun of me for the manga thing, and now they're anime fans. It's kind of like this uh, similar thing that what happened to like video games and metal or comic books. Like, I mean, now, like comic now, books now the short term of it, everyone's a fucking nerd now. Yay! And if you think you're not a nerd, I got some bad news for you, buddy. <clears throat> you're not a nerd. Yeah. The, way, the only I way you're not a nerd is if you're kids. dead. I know you're one of those country. kids that were like mi- middle school. Pokemon! High school. Oh, you're playing Pokemon? Gross. College. Pokemon! That was my that. fucking life! <laughs> I just saw that image. Josh, I look for it. I've seen... I've, that's my... Literally, that was my life. Like, in, 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 like, when I first played Pokemon, I was like 10. I was like, oh my god, it's so cool! And then in high school, like, I don't think people talked about that much, but in college... Pokemon card game, Pokemon regular game, competitive Pokemon. I like. I, I found everyone like really liked it. I was like, oh, I get to be a nerd again. It was just like this, and then it goes back to the fucking everyone know. Everyone knows what Pikachu is, even if you have no fucking idea what it's from. My parents know Gen One. No, oh, well, I wish mine did. <laughs> like they, 
Like, my mom literally has Pokemon, Bulbasaur, and Charmander keychains on her keys. Oh, well, I wish mine were that cool. <laughs> but, eh, they're just kind of lame and old. They're old! That's so rude. But yeah, it's the Pokemon thing is kind of like... Eh, no, I would say like in high school and college, anime was more popular. Mm. Yeah. You know, I would love to be back in the day when Pokemon came out in high school, because I heard stories that people traded card games for PlayStation games. Like, I, I know an example. Like, uh, he traded a shiny po Pokemon card for Metal Gear Solid. Shit. I wish I lived back then. I would I would have gave up all my country games. I wish I Actually, wish upon a star, but it's never gonna come true because we're all shackled by the weight of time eventually to lead us down a path of sadness. That kinda of reminds me of that story where like a woman <coughs> traded uh, a pack of Szechuan sauce for a car. Oh yeah, I've heard that. And I think she's a goddamn genius. I that know, is like, amazing. I think when I first told you that story, you were just like, can I marry this woman? Basically, I think that was like, your response. Make them, that sounds like something I would say. Because, like, that that's that's someone making someone else stupid while profiting off of their stupidity. And that is goddamn genius. It's beautiful. But fuck the idiot who is like, yeah, I'm going to give away my car for some sauce. <laughs> Unless it was, like, a really shitty car. But even then, even then. Yeah. The, the car was kind of shitty, but yeah. You can still fucking sell it for parts and make a shit ton of money. What about the people who well, the people who bought the Chez One sauce on Amazon for like, for like what, a hundreds? Because they're fucking retards? Not like me, who buys anime for like $40 when it's probably worth less. Probably. Probably like 20 what have I usually you been buy doing like, with I usually buy like eBay for, anyway for cheaper, so... What have okay. you been doing with your life? Um, that's a good question. I do not have an answer at the moment. All right, next. Okay, fine. Anime here. battle. Yeah, now we're going to on our now we're going to our anime battle, which is Meliodas is not one versus Guts. But these two, um, I guess they're kind of kingdom knights. I guess Guts simply united the kingdom, kind of. Not really liked by some people. Really. Tragic past. They fight monsters all the time. And they got some relation with demons. One just happens to be one, and the other fucking hates their guts. <laughs> so who <sighs> wins? I'm actually gonna... Because I'm, I'm, mm. the, thing, the thing about Meliodas oh, is he's, he's stronger than guts, but like full counter doesn't have anything... What? Full what? counter <laughs> won't work. Because it's only like direct magic. Like, and guts doesn't use no, magic. That's, that's... And that's like his magnum opus, though, yeah. in like the whole of season one. It was just people using strong magical attacks, and he's just like, well, no. <laughs> and then, but like, when people don't do it, Be gone, thoughts! <laughs> but like, when, when people are just gonna like, well, you know what, fine, I'm just gonna be like stabbing and punching you, and... But I feel like, like Guts would take this. I'm actually, I'm also, I'm also just gonna say Meliodas, because even though, like, Guts, um, like, he has his armor that can keep him fighting forever, but... Meliodas also is his demon form, which uh, can resist, you know, like attack, like direct attacks. And I need to remind you of one scene from season one. Um, uh, that was like when they had like everyone together, and he's like, "Well, oh, guess I gotta stop holding back." He grabs a stick, swings it, and cuts a hill in half. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm actually gonna say. Um... I feel like Guts I'll, is probably I'll like... Say, uh, what? Yeah, because Guts is like is actually quite durable and he and he kind of doesn't really care much for pain. Like even then, like the armor would like it, all of the blunt force of anything that would happen, it, it works through. And it, it's not like that form has been unbeatable. Even like in season one, he was beaten by a, a fairy in disguise. Well, the fairy was also taking power from like ten holy knights. So, 
Oh no! He only no. He only he only he only beat him because he took some power from uh, Hendrickson. That's how it was. So we got like a huge power boost. Um, because like, they both had their magnum opus. Uh, or, like like that's a surprise. Guts has his like uh his berserker armor, and then Meliodas has like the demon uh <laughs> form, and well, and it, well Meliodas can also tap into the demonic power too and like block attacks. So, uh, even even though his full counter is useless and his sword is probably his sword is gonna break uh probably faster, but he's also fought with just a stub of a sword. So, I'm gonna say well, like, like, he can I feel fight like his demon health. form is, is a lot more predictable. Yeah. Um, and that's that's kind of why he lost as well. It was just because like he went demon form and he was just like, oh, I'm gonna take a step back to see what's going on here, and it's just like, oh, you're doing this, I'm gonna work around that, boom. And like, and from what I've heard, Guts is not afraid to hurt himself. To oh god, no. how to he, beat, how to he, beat he, someone. He'll, he'll jump through fire, he'll get his, he'll have his own eye get cut, he'll he'll do whatever it takes, I mean, but I like just feel like... There's one part in Berserk where there's this creature running at, going at incredible speeds, so he's like, you know what, I'm gonna let this thing stab a sword, like a spear, through my cheeks, so he could bite onto the blade. So he's traveling with the thing just so he could kill it. Yeah, I mean, like, in terms of determination and durability, I feel like Guts has it. But in terms of, like, sheer strength and speed, I feel like Meliodas has it. Not that, it, not that Guts hasn't fought characters like that, but he usually fights demons uh, who don't really think that well. And Meliodas is a demon who's been around for, like, 5,000 years and shit. Or no, it was 3,000 years. He's seen a lot. So I'm gonna say with, with the experience, um, and even though he can't use full counter, the demon uh, form also has more power and such, and I feel like he could. It's a very close one, but I'm gonna say Meliodas. I, it, and this, this is the reason I why like... I chose season one, because season two would fucking look at guts and be like, "Ha, huh, that's cute, cut in half." Yeah, and I feel <laughs> like I feel like the second he would go into his demon form is is when guts would win, because I feel like. Meliodas would try and full counter, or would have a chance of winning. But when he has to tap into that demon form, it becomes uh, mindless and predictable. Is when guts can uh, kind of brunt through it uh, and actually kill him while he's probably being impaled by those like claw hands or something. Mm, maybe. I'm, I'm still gonna say Meliodas. So, what do you guys think? Well, technically, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like he can't die. Okay. Oh, yeah, right, because he like seven hearts. And spoilers for season two in three, two, one. Meliodas is cursed, so he can't fun. die. That makes him immortal. But this is also a like, like, and this is a fight. It doesn't mean it's a death uh, fight to the death. Like, they can knock each other out, and and that'll be a winner. If it was a fight to the death, I would specifically say that Meliodas would win because there's literally no way they... I mean, you could say that if he dies the first time, technically that's a win, even though he'll come back and just kill him later. But... Yeah. I don't know. I'm still I'm still going to say Meliodas because I feel like with the experience, with the extra strength, with the speed, and... um, I, I, I'd say he, he, he takes this just barely. Just barely. Although Guts is a very formidable opponent. Like, with the determination and the fact that he'll do anything to get a win, even, like, break his own arms, it's it's tough to get around that. He, yeah. he He's a crazy son of a bitch. Yeah. But Ooh. he does crazy but shit. So like, he's good. Fine. More is, uh, my guy. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Eh, eh, eh. He see them like oh my god oh my god um, showing out <laughs> and probably best buds I don't know <laughs> uh, I think like I think guts is too depressed to be friends with anyone the the only connection well, he's really he made with someone is the woman he loves and even then he had to watch her get raped in front of him so you know not exactly the happiest life in I, fact guts has probably had the shittiest life of any anime character I can think of <laughs> off the top of my head. So I don't so think Guts has the show? capacity to make... God, shut the fuck up. I don't think Guts has the capacity to make friends. He's not. He's also not really... Well, I mean, he, he is kind of clever, but I feel like Meliodas is just as clever. 
So, I mean, he's also seen more stuff too. Okay. Well. Oh fuck. I'm gonna say Meliodas. All right. What do you say, Noah? Naruto. <laughs> you wake up a random one. <laughs> but I just, I just want to reiterate. Hey, um, hey. Hey, he believes it, okay? You can I, just, I just want to reiterate, for anyone who's going to be... Uh, <laughs> so there is no, the right. I just want to reiterate, no, for anyone who who is going to... Like, anyone in the comments or viewers who are wondering, why are you choosing season one? Like, if, if you haven't seen the second season yet, um, he gets his sacred treasure, and, okay, what was it? They used power levels, and his power level from season one is like 3,000s. At the end of season two, it's like 60,000s. So, yeah. Yeah. So guts like oh boy yeah with, without without the the power it's a fair fight with the power guts is like you're a demon i'll take you yeah. on dead in a second <laughs> just dead guts flying so guts, guts piece there were one so that's like a 20th of his but essentially it's, it's a 20th of what he actually can do yeah so when he cut that when he cut that mountain in half that's a 20th of his full strength remember that yeah, with 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 the sheer power, I feel like he is kind of like a normal, de like a, a high level demon that guts would face, but with more intelligence and experience, and a similar and like a very different fighting style. Because guts usually fights like these monsters who don't fight like him. He doesn't usually fight swordsmen, so I feel like that would throw him off a little bit. But yeah, All right. people say Meliodas and guts, whatever. What do you guys think in the comments? And as always, if you guys have any suggestions for questions. Uh, discussions or anime battles, please leave them in the comments below, or or uh, send it on Twitter. Because if you go to my YouTube page, uh, on the top right, there will be a link to my Twitter as well as a bunch of other links too, including my book. Please buy my stuff. Anyway, thank you so much to Noah for joining, being a good sport. Hey, you made a book? I made a book. Yes, I talked about this before. You won't shut up about it with me. Because I need to sell the book so I can make money. I know. How many copies of yourself? Yeah. Um, so I think at least at least else. seventy. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. And then I have a hundred, uh, around a hundred with me. I've given away a few that I can sell on my own. So, but yeah. Anyway, just suggestions. Thank you, Noah and Matt and Venom live here. So. Yes. Did you just call him Venom Luffy? No, Matt and Venom live here, is what I said. Oh. Uh, because <laughs> they've been here for, like, pretty much every single one. Oh, yeah. Venom Luffy. That's that's the anime character we all need in our God, lives. no! The, the, <laughs> Luffy, Luffy taken no. by the Venom symbiote is terrifying. The I only, the only uh, anime character I would dare bond with, sir, is Bond, because he is best character. Bond is my favorite, I will admit. We did, we did have an anime battle yeah. with Bond, and that was versus what's his face from Naruto, the one who also can't die. Um, yeah. That was the second one, and oh, we all said yeah. Bond because it's fucking Bond. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember. I remember thinking like, because um, I didn't know the extent of his regeneration. I thought like if he destroyed the head, but then I've seen in season two he gets like obliterated completely, and he just comes back later. I'm like, oh, okay, so it. Mm. Huh. I got the perfect anime it's like, battle. It's like Deadpool levels of regeneration. Drop the blizz to lift. Oh well, I can come back. <laughs> I got the perfect. Well, what's, anime what's your anime battle? battle? Because I have I have one for next week, and it's gonna be a good one. Shit, when our death battle already covered it. Never mind. What is it? What? Just tell me what it is. Blanca versus Pikachu. <laughs> I got the big couple that. <laughs> but Blanca's not an anime character. Yeah, he is. He's a video game character first, and so is Pikachu. Wait, there was a cartoon about him. Yeah. Eh, it might be. I, might, I might do it for a gag one. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll write oh, that down I, for I, a gag I, one. I loved, I loved the results of the last gag one. That was amazing. Oh, God, that was fucking hilarious. With Big Dandy. <laughs> yeah, I say Big Dandy, because fuck you, that's why. <laughs> uh, <laughs> remember, we did like... Space Dandy versus um, Desert Punk. Yeah, and it was um, hilarious. hilarious. And, was, and then we saw like this whole. It was like this supposed to be like this whole like how yeah, like how a million it was gonna like, it was just how the thing was going to happen, and everyone had different answers. 
<clears throat> yeah, everyone everyone had a different answer. That, that was the only time everyone's had a different answer. But yeah, anyway, thank you guys. This was fun. Uh, hopefully I managed to edit the other one and upload it today. And then, well, not today for when you were watching it. Today when I'm recording this, which is Tuesday. As in the words of M. Bison, for you it was the greatest day of your life, but for me it was Tuesday. It was also named after the Norse god of war. Shut up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Kirby's the best waifu. God damn it, Joe! No! <laughs> sorry, sorry, not god of war, god of war.